Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Today we're going to keep working on whatever the whatever name I came up with that one. I forget what it is. Project Gapple Sauce or something like that. Hopefully it's as uh, gap worthy as the name I've given it. So uh, we're going to take apart the transmission that I have right here. We're going to take this apart. We're going to clean it and make it look as decent as the engine does. So we have to clean out all that junk right there clean out all that basically all this nastiness on the outside of it all the nastiness on the inside of it as well this time i already started a little bit i uh, started getting a little bit on there um, cleaning a little bit of that right there um, you can see right there it's somewhat clean not as gunky and dirty as the outside but i'm going to take it completely apart probably take it to work and clean it properly so I have these two gasket sets, which I may or may not have had in previous videos, but um, I figured out why I needed to get two because it only has one of these seals. Actually, this seal right here might be that seal right there. So I probably don't even need two of these, but I do need the seals that go behind there, and I also need the rubber caps that go um, right there. And there's, you can see the rubber cap right there. Yep, rubber cap. That cap needs to come out. First thing I should have done before I removed it out of the car was drain it. Here's the fill plug right here. And as you can see in there, or not, there is some fluid in there. So your drain plug is right there. So we're gonna drain it into the bucket here. And might as well just leave that out. Then we're gonna get to removing stuff. As you can see, there's a little bit of buildup on the magnet on the drain plug. Hopefully the inside of this transmission doesn't look too bad. Okay, while that's still draining, we're going to start working on taking this side cover off. Alright, the first thing we got to do here is pop off this cover right here. Uh, and then we got to get this output flange off. Then we can get that cover off. And you're going to replace that, obviously. So there we go. Caps off. And I misspoke earlier. There's no nut in there. It's just this lock ring right here. a snap ring that needs to get popped off. And now the flange just pops right off. We're going to clean that up, make it look all brand new. Hopefully. Nope, can't even really feel a wear, a wear ring. Next, we're going to take off these 13 millimeter bolt nuts. Some are already loose. Some of these have extra washers. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or not, but this one has them. They only had two washers.
Next, we'll give the cover a little tappy right there. Pay attention, there is an O-ring right there. Well, one thing that I noticed after I moved it, if you look right there, that bearing looks like it got really hot at one point, so we're gonna have to go ahead and replace that. Also, don't forget this uh, ring right here. That's right behind the cover when you take it off. Well, there is a bunch of sludge and whatnot built up in here, so hopefully there's not too much wear, especially in the gears in there. And then back there as well, you can see that there's that one over there. So hopefully there's not a lot of excess wear, and the transmission's still usable. That would be fantastic. And then once you get the other side off, the differential just pretty much falls out. And there's that bearing. Looks like you got hot. And there's the inner bearing, or that maybe that's the other bearing. Either way, I need to replace both of those bearings. And the teeth look okay, actually. They're nice and sharp. They don't look worn, anything like that. The only thing that is concerning is the amount of sludge inside this transmission. There's your pinion. You can see it in there. Oops. Right there. That also doesn't look... Worn excessively at all. It's nice and shiny. And the teeth are nice and sharp. But, I mean... I mean, it might be able to just be cleaned out. Maybe it's just from years of sitting. It did sit for about 10, 15 years. So, who knows? We get it cleaned up. Probably pull the gear set out and uh, see what those look like. Alrighty, that's it for this one. Another short one. Um, next, we're going to pull out that gear set, and I'm going to get these uh, end covers cleaned up, get the, get the uh, diff cleaned up, and uh, keep tearing this transmission.